Welcome to DTW24 Ignite here in Copenhagen, Denmark. We are happy to be here with Ericsson Boot and with an executive from Vonage, uh, an Ericsson company. And today we're going to talk about Network API. So Joaquin, great to be with you today. How are you feeling today? I feel great, Harold, thank you. I can imagine, yesterday we had a good first day of this event, right? It was, definitely. Many good conversations around what we are going to talk about now. Exactly. So let's talk about how uh, communications and network APIs together help businesses to stay ahead of competition. Right. So Vonage has already today been helping enterprises and developers to make their applications better by using communications APIs, sometimes referred to as CPaaS. Now, the mobile networks, the 4G and 5G networks, they contain so much more interesting capabilities that could be levered and should be leveraged by developers. It contains authentication, location, and even quality of service. And by quality of service, I mean having a service level agreement between an application and the network. So for sure, all those additional capabilities, they should be made available to developers and enterprises as well. Why? Because not only will that allow them to create new applications that we couldn't have imagined before, but they could also improve the existing application and existing communication between the enterprises and their customers. Think about new um, uh, authentication services that are more seamless and require less end user interaction. Today, for example, you get a text message with a six digit code to enter mm -hmm. into the web, web page in order to authenticate yourself. The network can do that in the background all seamlessly. Similarly, think about the telehealth application where the conversation with the doctor is done with a service level agreement in terms of quality and reliability will be a much better outcome for the end user. So in summary, the network APIs, they will enable uh, enterprises and their developers to create new applications and improve the applications they already have. Oh, that sounds absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. And what do telco operators stand to gain from unlocking their network APIs? Yeah, so this is really a win-win situation, Harold, between the enterprises and the telco. So, as we know, I mean, telcos have uh, had struggled a little bit to monetize on their 5G investments. True. That everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. Now, with our, in our studies, and we have commissioned very, very detailed studies on this, we see that by 2030, the network API business will uh, have a value of about 20 billion US dollars. It's a lot of money, and Absolutely. that will create a new revenue streams for operators. Now, like I talked about before, all enterprises are actually going through a digitalization and connectivity journey today, and it will be a requirement, I believe, for telcos to support their customers, their clients, with these network APIs. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really a win-win situation between both. And, I, I do believe that when the operators provide the APIs and expose the value of their networks, we all will see that the networks are so much more valuable than, than we see them today. Today, a lot of the money goes to the applications that actually rely on the, on the network, not to the network itself. And that we want to change with the API business. That sounds great and we, we want to learn more about it. And we're very grateful to have you here. And we're going to continue having conversation during the day. Thank you very much, Martin. Thank you very much. Great. Pleasure. Pleasure.